this might just be the best R2 hunt we've had in a while, and we're kind of taking on what I would call Quattro Cleanus's kind of signature species with its signature weapon. We have the 6.5 Rayo today, and looking at this level 4 Bethides, it might actually be a level 4 Diamond. They're kind of common, and we managed to make that heart shot. So I've talked about it so many times. Animals quite often will score at the top end of their score estimate, and I think Diamond 4 Bethides Ibex is somewhere in the area of 190. So often, for whatever reason, Bethides Ibex 198, 199, and 200 is kind of like where they end up scoring. And because his top SM is 199 and he looked to be kind of like the Diamond Horns, I wouldn't be at all shocked if that's where he ends up. And he actually is the color that I like for them. It's kind of like the more gray common. And I mean, yeah, 199.7, starting off with a Diamond Bethides Ibex. And that 104 KG is kind of like where you end up seeing Diamond start. And it's just like that bend in the horns. I don't know if there is a middle ground between like 160-ish Ibex and then 190s. It seems like they sort of jump from that mid-sized gold to diamond. And yeah, not a bad way to start. I wanted to come here to Quattro for a number of reasons. Not the least of which being getting some use out of the 6.5 Rayo. I mentioned that in a recent video that I wanted to use it. And I don't think there's a better way to start than with a diamond. And as we're kind of moving along here, if we're going to have a level 7 red here just standing in front of us, it's another opportunity for the 6.5. I'm glad we didn't try to take that shot. He's still alert. He's kind of acting a little bit odd, but if we can get him to stop and stand still again, we'll kind of just run for just a second here. He should notice us. And I think he kind of like twitched to the left. It should be a lung shot, but unfortunately that is the kind of one negative to the 6.5, it's a little bit underpowered for species like Red Deer on this map. It is going to bring him down, but that was why I tried to get him to stop and go for that hard shot, because it's going to cost us a little bit in tracking, but Red Deer and Roe Deer are a couple of the species that I wanted to focus on today, and actually I would say the main one is Iberian Wolves. We're still sort of working on trying to get a third diamond. Well game crashes are unfortunate. I guess at least we don't have to track the red deer, but now we have to load back in. I thought there was a pretty decent chance he would despawn or something, but we got back in here and our red deer's still there. He was, in fact, a gold. I think we still get credit for it. And actually, man, it looks like we just about hit the heart, but I believe the shot was actually more like this. So the angle might not be showing correctly, but yeah, like I said, I think the gold still counts for our stats. And what I was kind of getting at was the main reason we're here and the reason we're kind of going up into this area is for Iberian Wolves. We have two diamonds of two different fur types and neither of them are common. So I feel like it's quite likely we can get a third diamond eventually that is going to be different than our other two. And it can make it for a really cool multi-mount. So I tend to consider this area one of the best for the Iberian Wolves. And as we're going along, we can kind of look at some other Ibex. We might go ahead and take that front one, since he's just kind of at that same angle we took the Bethides one at. And once again, able to make that hard shot, so at the very least on the Ibex, the 6.5 is doing quite well. No doubt another hard shot, and another gold as well. 95 is not too bad, about 12 shy of diamond, but I mean, yeah, Ibex are sort of a smaller species. I guess the Bethides are decent size, but... Two for two on them, and the red deer, I still think, had it not moved, we probably would have hard shot him as well. Unfortunately, the game crashing has continued, so we're into another server now, and we have a level 7 wolf just kind of walking out there, not that far away, so I think just shooting into the air is going to alert him, and if we can, I'd like him to stop, and then we can maybe get like a frontal chest shot, hopefully into the heart, and I think in fact we did, Gold 36.8 level 7 wolf with a heart double lung and liver shot. The 6.5 really has been doing well so far. And actually, I think we're at the very end of Road Deer Drink Time. And I wanted to pass by uh, that lake over there. I wonder what might be in here. There's an Oliver a Gray. And evidently, that's going to be it from them. And I think we shot that guy even a little bit too far back. I'm surprised they just gave up like that, but 
I don't see anything big, so that's probably quite all right. The 6.5 is not exactly the ideal, like, aggressive wolf gun, because it is a little underpowered. And a lot of times you end up with kind of wounded wolves that are able to still kind of injure you. So we'll be happy with the fact that they're kind of leaving. Now I'd say any road deer we encounter over here may be leaving, but at least we can maybe check tracks and see what's around there. But for the second time, grabbing a wolf before we head off, and that was an olive, and we caught the liver there, so not bad. I was thinking this was a fur type that I kind of forgot existed, so I might actually save that. Maybe get rid of one of these random uh, gray pheasants. But we have, like I said, the couple of uncommon diamond Iberian wolves. They're a winter and a gray. I forgot that olive existed. Common olive or pristine would be really cool, and obviously, like a super rare diamond would be cool as well, but there's a lot of potential in there for some variety, so I think it's going to be fun to hunt these guys more and eventually, hopefully, fill that spot. And I guess kind of better late than never here. There are a couple of roadier bucks just kind of leaving their zones. I think we should be able to go ahead and get this guy. I'm sort of surprised that wasn't a hard shot, but lungs will do the trick with the 243. And that's kind of what I figured they'd be leaving their zones and maybe we could catch them as they're on their way out. So happy to get that one. Another level one drinking over there. Hopefully there's a better buck in the area than that, but at least we got the one. Of course, a silver at 51.5 and just left of the heart there, so like I said, lungs are going to do just fine. And yeah, we'll kind of run along, we'll watch the other side as well just in case. And we'll check tracks on our way over to the area I mentioned for wolves again. Hopefully this time it's going to be a little more interesting than one shot, but we saw a mythical wolf among these. This once again is probably going to be an example of the 6.5 not being ideal. That's another olive wolf, and of course it's a level 4, so not the most interesting, by the way. Evidently, I have not chambered another round, so probably not the best time to figure that out, but we'll see if we can manage to actually even survive this with the 6.5 Rayo. Now, it's definitely capable, like, it's gonna take these wolves down, and I think, uh, yet again, they're just giving up. I was going to say, I think the ideal way to kind of get through that was going to be getting those early shots off and just having some of them die before they could get to us. But no need to worry. Two wolves this time and they just ran away. And Rascal, our dog, does not have the, I think it's the brave trait? Let me see exactly what it's called. Yeah, like he doesn't have the, the chance to ward off predator attacks. I don't know why they're just quitting that easily, but I mean, again, we are using the 6.5. There's a decent chance they would have actually just killed us. So. I'm not going to complain. Two olive wolves, that's kind of cool. They're just an uncommon, but I like the look of them. We're seeing this so much lately with the kind of like twitchy animations when animals are drinking or feeding, but I saw this red deer out here and immediately I thought we had a troll level nine. That rack so often ends up being a nine and there's just no way that it ever makes time. And it usually scores somewhere, I think in the area of 230, but we're gonna try to take him out there kind of a tough shot. I don't have a clue where that hit. Unless the range that I've been looking at wasn't correct, that actually doesn't look like 250 like it says. But even still, I don't have any idea why that would have missed. We got lungs the second time. I love to know what just happened. Maybe we shot like during one of the twitch frames and somehow he avoided that. I have no idea. And it's always great when you have to wait forever for an animal to float across the water. But what I want to know is, number one, the shot distance 204 meters. We actually almost landed that hard shot. But if that is the case, even if it said 250, I don't see any way we could have been off enough to completely miss. So not really a clue what happened there, but we're kind of running out of daylight. I think Red Deer drank for a while yet. And I was going to kind of look for them and hope to stumble into some wolves. So... We'll give it a shot, but not a fan of having to do it in the dark. Well, luckily the in-game time was changed, and at least we can continue hunting during daylight. That is a pretty decent road here. And again, the twitchy animations kind of messing with things. I'm not even sure if that would have been on for a hard shot, but right as we took that shot, he started to kind of twitch, I don't know what direction, but 
luckily, we got the lungs and we're good, but that always worries me. I'm starting to think alerting animals might just be the safe way to go. I mean, we had the shot lined up correctly. If he did kind of lean upwards with that like twitchy animation, we very well could have missed out on a heart shot. Not that it really matters, but in certain scenarios, maybe if we were like low in the heart and that ended up being below the lungs, it could actually have a pretty big impact. And generally speaking, when it comes to trying to shoot a diamond or anything like that, we do, you know, alert them or do something to make sure that they aren't going to have that little blip that can mess us up. But it certainly is a possibility to be aware of. But on that note, that is going to do it for this video. And it was really nice to get back here to Quattro yet again, starting off with the Diamond Ibex and then the amount of wolf encounters I thought was really encouraging. I really do want to get that third diamond sometime in the near future. Whether it's single player or multiplayer, I'd really, really like to get that for the multi mount and then maybe start a Mouflon grind to get something cool for that aspect of it. But that all is going to be for a future video. So anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.